to my channel or whatever. So today this is going to be a little cooking video, a little cook with me or whatever video for the kids. I'm cooking for the kids. So today on the agenda they wanted burgers. So I have the burgers right here and I have the fries. They wanted burgers and fries. So I know some people probably like, why is she making a video or just making burgers and fries? She just wanna do I'm making a video because I want to and mind your own business. So before we get into this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up and also hit that share button and also hit that bell button to get more of my videos or whatever. So without further ado, let's get into this little cooking, you know, little cooking video. So I will be using the deep fryer for the uh, fries. So let me turn this on. Alrighty. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't let you kill myself. So they want waffle fries. Comment down below if you had these fries. They good, y'all. And they want burgers. Now, some people, the reason why I'm making this video is because. Some people out here really don't know how to make a juicy burger at home. Cause they burgers end up dry and you know, not good. So I'm here to show you guys how to whip up that burger. Whip up that burger. <laughs> so I'm going to look at it right into this video. I'm going to go get a pot and I'll be right back with a better setting. So, in order to make a nice juicy burger, this is all the items that you really need. Because I know some people they just throw the burger on them and not like season them, but we're back. So we're going to season our burger. So, so this is what you all need. You really know how to put this on this, but I be extra and I put this on everything. This is good with everything. Like this is so good. So you want to need this. Of course, you're going to need a little bit of olive oil to put on the um, skillet for your burger going really thick. Um, of course, you need seasoning salt. You know, get a little seasoning in it or whatever. And you want to need some butter. You can also use... Um, you can also use garlic powder. But I might use this, so let's just keep it out. So, I'm going to start my grease. I'm going to start my uh, fire. You, you want to put it on low. You don't want it to be too high because the higher it is, you can like burn it and stuff. So, we want to do it on low because you want to slow cook it because you don't want it to stick and you don't want it to be too dry. So, it's like the higher it is, the more dry it gets. Always remember that. So, I'm going to come back with a better setting for y'all to see. And yeah. Alright, so, y'all see the little thing right here. So, how I mix up my um seasonings before I put the, um, uh, I don't like, okay, let me, let's reset it. I don't just throw the seasons on my burger. What I do is I put all the seasons in a bowl and I mix the burger around it, if you get what I'm saying. So, you don't want to put a lot of seasoning in the bowl because it's going to be putting seasoning in a bowl per burger. You get what I'm saying? So, you don't want to put a lot of seasoning in the bowl because it might make your burger too salty. So, let's get all right so we got some ground beef you want to say half to the pizza i'm gonna say half to the pizza because he just sitting here y'all okay so hi people <laughs> okay so we're going to get Slice the piece out for one burger. You don't want to make the burger too big. 
This is one Virgo, but so first I'm gonna put my seasons in there. God don't put a lot. You don't want a lot. Especially you don't want a lot of uh seasoning salt. So you just go put a little in there. And then you'll put just a dab of this. Okay. Alrighty. Now, you got all your seasonings in there. See, not too much, just right for the burger. So, you're gonna dip your burger in there. You want to mix it around, mix it around, mix it around, make sure the seasoning get on the burger. You know, some people make their burgers different, but this is how it makes mac. So, when the season's on there, you see, the season's all on there. It's all on there. Right. So now the season's on the. Now what you want to do is you want to pour a little of this in the skillet. Pour some of that and put a slice of butter in the skillet. Just a slice, just a little slice. All right. Or it's not too high, just right. Go ahead and mix that around. Now my deep uh, fryer is getting hot. So in a minute I'm going to put the fries on. But yeah, that's all you do. That's how you make a nice juicy burger. You don't want your burger to be dry. So you gotta watch it at all times too because when you leave it might not come out right. It might mess up. Well I'm looking hot right now, but it's cool. If y'all still watching this video, comment down below be like, hey girl, just hey girl. Well hey boy. Alright, so my burger is making. Comment down below if y'all want well, give it a like if you guys want some more cooking videos because your girl know what she's doing. Your girl know how to get down, period. Okay. It's a, it's a couple of meals I done made for kids. And they like my food. So. This all you really doing. It's not hard making burgers. It's really not hard cooking, period. All you got to do is just take your pan. Hold on, y'all. Just a little piece of. I hate one of these pieces of food that's falling in there. And I gotta wash this off because. I hate one of these, like, pieces of food that's falling in there. Okay, so I'll be back up. Yeah, let me get y'all a closer look at this juicy burger. Nice and juicy, baby. Okay. Y'all better ask somebody. Okay. So, my grease is hot. I'm going ahead and dip the fries in there. <laughs> oh, sorry. If you want, you can season your fries too. Let it cook slowly. Always let your food cook slowly if you want it to come out right. Because It's on half. Sometimes food don't come out right on half. So if you want, you can season your uh your fries before you put it in the grease. 
Because I know some people just throw their fries in the grease without seasoning them and they be all just to taste like that. We black, so black people season everything. I'm just gonna make these fries for kids because I really don't like fries like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it up. Done. 
What you can do if you're not sure if it's done yet, you can get a, a knife. You can. Oh. You can get a knife and like stick to it to see. See if you don't see no more pink, cause if it's like still pink, then it ain't ready yet. So, yeah. A little bit more time. The outside will tell you that it's ready, but in the inside, it's really not ready. So, we just gonna go ahead and do that. Y'all, let me tell y'all about my dream. Y'all probably like, this girl, how can I? Let me tell y'all about my dream though. I've been having weird dreams lately. I had a dream that I almost got shot. For no reason. It's like people out here killing people for no reason, man. I had a dream I almost got shot. I had a dream that I had a 65 six year old man. Now I know that was a dream because I ain't that type of chick, baby. Oh, no, nah, I don't see how these young people be going out these old old for their money. Like, get your own money, bro. Yeah, I make my friends very solid and light. I don't like, you know, hard, fried, fried hard. I hate when people make it so fried hard. That stuff irritates me. So, my fries is about done, y'all. I like my fries to look fresh. Fresh and white. Not white, but fresh and light and just right. But this gun too. Let me tell y'all about my dream, y'all. Let me tell y'all. So, okay, which one should I tell y'all? Okay. So, now I know this is a dream because I don't walk. I got a cop, so I'm um I'm walking with my cousins or whatever. So we just walk in, walking about our own business. So this uh man, this black dude, he came behind us with a gun, right? Now remember, we walking. He come behind us with a gun. So I dip. And the crazy part about it, he only was after me. So I'm thinking like, why is he just after me? Like I'm with my cousins and I. So I dip. They just stand there. So at this point, I'm thinking they set me up. So they just standing there. And I ran to like my great auntie house. And I was doing some Spider-Man itch. I, I was climbing on trees. I was climbing on the house. It's like I ran for him to like miss me. So he could have found me and then I had looked downstairs. He had my great auntie in the headlock with a gun to her head. I had to jump off the uh, third floor window. Didn't break a bone. It was like in the, in the um, dream, I was like Spider-Man or some shit. So I had jumped down the uh, window off the third floor or whatever. It was just so weird, y'all. I had ran to the next block. Some rapist man was like really trying to snatch me. It was, oh, it was just crazy. Some rapist man tried to snatch me. I tased him. And then I had ended up at my house. Like, it's like I took one blink in the dream and I opened my ass. I was at my house. And I was just going to the store with my, uh, my brother, baby mama, like nothing happened. So I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, I need to try to wake myself up. Cause don't y'all, is it me or do y'all like thinking y'all dreams like, wake up girl, wake up. Like, but you just can't because you just go into the dream and see what's gonna happen next. That's how I was feeling at the moment. So, that, it was just crazy after that. I woke up, so basically somebody tried to kill me in my dream, but I really don't know who it was, because you know what's funny, y'all? 
he had on don't y'all remember them uh them jackets like them jackets with the letter on it he had on a jacket with the letter on it and he had on uh i mean and he had dress and he was dark skin so at this point i'm thinking it's my ex <laughs> but i don't know but that was kind of crazy y'all I woke up crying just thinking like somebody really just tried to kill me like in my dream. I, I never went on the uh oh, I never went on the uh gun chase. Well, I never really got chased. Well, that's good. It's a blessing though. But yeah, that was kind of crazy, y'all. Then my other dream, I had a dream that I had a sugar daddy. That was six five years old. I'm like, yeah, this most definitely a dream, cause I don't get down like that though. Now, I don't be understanding how these young females be talking to these older men. Like, first of all, this man have kids and grandkids. Why are you wasting your time talking to somebody's grand uh, daddy just for their money? He has to get his money to his grandkids. Like. I just feel like girls that do that just don't care. They just care about themselves and they just try to finesse. It's not, it's not, it's really not good to try to finesse people at all. So, this is basically what I'm doing. And I'll get back with you guys when it's all done. So, I finally finished the burgers. I only got my burger. It's because the kids are leaving. Show me your burger real quick. Yeah. It's good, y'all. She said it's real good. It's good. It's good and juicy. So, I'm gonna show y'all how I make my little burger. But, we don't have no, uh, no lettuce. So, we can't use lettuce. I don't like tomatoes, so that's most definitely not going to my burger. But, I'm gonna show y'all how I, like, you know, make my burger. So you get your bread. <laughs> Let me stop asking. I don't know. Okay, so you get your bread. You want to put the mayo on first. Some people I'm doing this. Some people don't put mayo on their burgers. I don't know why. It just makes the burger more better. Put mayo on it. You really ain't gotta spread it out and spread it out itself. So put mayo on up. Alright. You get your juicy burger, juicy burger. Y'all see that juicy burger and dry. I took a bite off to see if it was done. Get your juicy burger. No, first, you take that off. I done messed up already. You put your cheese, your cheese on it first. You gonna give y'all the taste test. Yeah, I did. Put your thing on it, da 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 da. Then you put your burger. And that's how you make a burger. Somebody then you put your burger. Then you flip your burger and that's how you make a burger. Nice. Oh. God made dirt so dirt don't hurt. God made dirt so dirt don't hurt. You got fries, I got fries here, but I ain't gonna eat no fries. So. I don't like fries like that. Especially homemade fries. I cannot stand it. So we're gonna take one big bite and we're gonna see how it's done. Bro. That was just so good! Oh my god! Mmm. I did that. My bad for getting a call, but your girl did that. Ain't no pink. Well done. Ooh, nice and big and juicy. I tell y'all, y'all better stick with these TikTok videos because sometimes I'll be skipping up my words. Like, just deal with me, y'all, please. Y'all better stick with me with these cooking videos because I, y'all go take notes, baby. Take note, this is so good. I might even eat this whole burger. 
on this camera. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, this is how you make a nice juicy big burger. Yeah, I'll close it up. Look at that. Man, lucky to be my husband. <laughs> Deborah, uh-oh, gotta get the baby. So, that wraps up this little cooking video. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys did like it. Give it a thumb down if you really did it. You can be honest, you know, it's all about honesty. Um, Make sure you like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get more of my videos because your girl will be back with more bangers. Wanna say something, Ava? Also, guys, if you haven't checked out my last video, go check it out. Stay tuned for more videos. Your girl is out, but till then, your girl will be back with more videos. Just this.